In software engineering, we sometimes refer to our code and systems as being tightly or loosely coupled. But what does coupling really mean? And what are the trade-offs involved when you try to make your code loosely coupled? Coupling refers to how closely two parts of your system depend on or interact with each other. In one sense, it's how much of the logic and implementation details of these two parts begin to blend together. When two pieces of code are interdependent this way, they are said to be tightly coupled. On the other side, if two pieces of code are highly independent and isolated from each other, they are said to be loosely coupled. When you hear coupling, you'll often also hear of a very related term, cohesion. While coupling refers to how much two parts of your system depend on each other, cohesion refers to how well the code within a single part fits together. Often, when you have tight coupling, you'll end up with low cohesion. And when you have low coupling, you'll often have high cohesion. When you write code, there are benefits of making your code loosely coupled and cohesive. First, it can be easier to maintain because you're going to find that all the code related to a particular concern is co-located and together. Second, it's gonna give you more flexibility. You have the ability to change the internals of one part of your code base without those changes spilling over into the rest of your system. You could even completely swap out one part entirely and the other parts of your system don't need to be aware of that. So far, this has all been very abstract. So let's try to look at a more concrete example. Imagine that we're working on a simple system that is going to read in a comma separated file from disk, then do some calculations on that data for the user. We have two big chunks of logic here, reading a CSV file and doing some calculations. In one possible implementation, we might have the calculation logic call into the CSV parsing logic, get some CSV row objects back, run the calculations, and return the results bundled with the CSV data. In this implementation, the parsing logic and report logic are pretty coupled together. First, the report code is explicitly calling the CSV parsing code. Second, the report code is working internally with CSV row objects, which means that the reporting code depends on some of the internals of the parsing code. You can see how the parsing and reporting concerns have started to blend a little bit together. If we wanted to change our system, say to read Excel files instead of CSV files, you can imagine having to trace how far the concept of a CSV file has permeated through the reporting code. If we wanted to make these pieces of logic loosely coupled, we would want to find a way to make the two pieces of logic more independent. There are a couple ways that we could do this. One approach would be to have CSV parsing logic that sits isolated from calculation logic. The calculation logic could then define an interface for how it expects to be supplied data. A little bit of glue code could then use the CSV parsing logic, transform the data to the form expected by the report code, and then call the report code. At this point, because the parts are so isolated, we could freely change or swap out a new file parser or even report logic without impacting the other. Loose coupling is a desirable trait for your code to have, and if it isn't too expensive, I recommend applying it. However, I also recommend being thoughtful when you choose to apply it. I think in software engineering, we sometimes have this tendency to take concepts like loose coupling and interpret them as absolute laws that we need to imply in every circumstance. However, in reality, I find that engineering is much more about making and weighing trade-offs. So what are the trade-offs involved when you're trying to decide if your code should be more loosely coupled? On the positive side, like we mentioned earlier, loose coupling gives you a lot more flexibility, separation of concerns, and maintainability. On the negative side, it will call for some degree of abstraction or indirection. We saw that in our example in the form of an additional interface and a little bit of glue code. You might have heard of the phrase, premature optimization is the root of all evil. However, I think premature abstraction can also be the source of a lot of pain. To help make the decision of when to decouple, I like to ask myself a few questions. What benefit am I going to get from this decoupling? Is this a real benefit or just a theoretical one? How expensive will it be to decouple? And by this I mean, how much indirection or abstraction will I need? 
do I have enough knowledge to make good abstractions yet? If I don't, I may end up doing more harm than good while decoupling the systems. And it would be better to wait a little bit longer and see a little bit more examples of how these systems are going to be used. How naturally interconnected are these two concerns? The more they are, the more costly it will be to separate. The answers to these questions will often guide me to a solution. All things being equal, I generally prefer loosely coupled designs because I find that the benefit will often outweigh the cost. That said, there are absolutely cases where I have left code tightly coupled. And as far as I know, I haven't been sent to engineering hell for it.